Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Homefront: The Revolution. Uh, if you guys remember, this game came out probably about four months ago. Um, a lot of us put it on hold and waited because it was pretty much terrible at the time of release. Had a slew of bugs. Um, since then, uh, a lot of patches and updates have came out. Um, here recently, they just released a patch at the beginning of September. Uh, that patch was to improve the performance of the game to help get rid of the auto save bug and the um, I guess a lot of the, the issues that transpired with when you'd walk around the game would freeze up but the game when it would auto save it would freeze and then some of the missions were missing so basically what I'm gonna be doing today is kind of just playing through the game um, we're gonna be doing some of the walkthrough with gameplay and then of course uh, just roaming around kind of testing the game out a little bit more seeing if there are any other issues that are prevalent so I'll be talking a little bit here and there throughout the game if I see something that kind of stands out as an issue I will kind of point that out but other than that so far from what I've played I did a test run earlier uh, last week played through about the first mission of the game and really didn't have too much of an issue with it um, didn't notice anything that really stood out the game seems to play fine. I don't see any lag. Good luck um, the graphics on it look like it's they've been improved from what I can tell. The, more uh, the can dynamic cover, the more we'll weather system is pretty good. I'm marking your search area on your phone. You find anything at all, I need to know about it. Good luck. So basically, uh, that's that's one of the features I really do like about the game is it changes from there was, there was an issue there with some lighting flickering off and on. Um, the, the day and nighttime feature is nice. The, the weather, it looks really good. It's shiny when it rains. Um, I think I kind of showed a lot of that in my previous video with uh, the lighting aspect of the game. So if you haven't checked that out, I'd definitely check that video out as well. There's no commentary on it, but it definitely gives you a lot of different aspects of the game as far as, again, lighting is concerned. <laughs> They're shooting at me. I'm gonna run like the wind. If I can climb up here, yep. Cool. So the game kind of reminds me of a little bit of Fallout 4. It has some Far Cry dynamics to it with the looting system. Um, and now those are some of the things that I kind of enjoy. Um, there are games out there that do have better graphics. It has a kind of, of a dying light feel as well, obviously, without zombies. Brady, we tracked Andy's message and you're closest. Um, the weapon system. Source on your phone. Get over there. See if you can help. I'll send support as soon as I can. If you've ever played any of the Crisis games, you'll notice it's kind of similar to that aspect with the upgrades that you can do to your weapon. So I thought that was kind of cool that they integrated something similar. So here you go. We were sunny earlier and now it's it's raining. It's kind of cloudy, a little fog going on in the background. So I think they've really improved the game from that aspect. Um, crafting, you can definitely craft in the game. This reminds me more of like Far Cry with how they have the selection well set up for your weapons. So 
So we're going to try to reach this checkpoint over here without getting noticed. I guess turning off my flashlight would probably help. now finally two bombs and two molotovs you can loot I definitely highly recommend looting and gain back a lot of materials armor stuff that you can craft with money So as you can see here, I think the lighting is exceptional. See how it's moving? And the sun's just glistening through as it, you can just see the shadowing and the textures as the sun moves. It's just fantastic. And also look at how it, it shines off the gun itself. Just the lighting there, I'm sorry, my, my crossbow. It's just fantastic. So I know this game got a lot of crap when it came out, and rightfully so due to all the bugs, but from what I can tell, it, it really, from this point moving forward, seems like it, it, it's going to be a decent game. just reported some of them aren't dead. Norks captured them and have taken them to Earlston Yellow Zone. We have to try and rescue them to find out where Walker's being held. Okay, I'm heading to Earlston now. Can you come meet me? You strike me as a man who gets results. I'm marking the tunnel location on your map. I'll see you there. So, like I was saying earlier, I'll, I'll play Brady's some of the parish. That told me you really helped him out. I'm glad I was right about you. He says you had no Earlston, so I gotta warn you the Norks have ID'd you. Your name's all over the news. Pyongyang Polly's telling everyone you're a murderer. You have to be really careful, okay? That can fill you in when you see him. I'll play some of the campaign, and I will probably do some roaming around, just check out general stuff. Maybe side mission stuff like that. And I'm gonna shot my own guy while ago. Not sneaking up on me like that. As you can tell, I look at the city. I mean, it's just rain. The rain, the water effects in the game look great. 
is it just it looks like a sheet of glass as it glistens off the concrete. And then, you know, they got fog going on, definitely heavy fog after the rain. I think that they did a really good job on that. Let's see if we can get up here and try to walk around this. Oh. Yeah, the healing system definitely looks like Far Cry stuff. So you have to heal yourself. Has that, that Far Cry effect to it. So it looks like they took several different components from games and kind of combined them together. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. If it's uh, tried and true and it works. Why not utilize it? Dude, you almost got nailed. And there is just always something going on in this game, as you can tell. I mean, just generally walking around, hell's always breaking loose. Yes, I did. Now, what do we got here? Oh, a motorcycle. And some loot. Nothing like a little looty loot. Okay, yeah, my driver and my motorcycle skills really lack. Take the motorcycle through the bus. Be there. Let's take a look here, see where we gotta go.